This is an idea I've been playing with for a little while. I want to make a number of short videos just showing some of the basic punish opportunities and other need to know information when fighting against each character. I'll be making videos based on how often I'm seeing people drop punishes or miss guaranteed escapes, so I'll probably make videos for more popular weird characters first, and well understood characters last. In return, I ask that you guys request which character I should do next in the comments, or contribute some of your own things I left out. This video is on Birdie. Just a note on Birdie's anti-airs, he's pretty well off. Crouch medium punch will hit jump attacks at most angles. And Crouch Fierce is one of the highest damage meterless anti-airs in the game. Additionally, most of the stuff Birdie does in neutral isn't really weak to a forward jump, so I'd say you should reserve your jump ins most of the time. For the record, he also has a few decent answers to dive kicks. Birdie's options against fireballs are a bit more limited and specific. From around quarter to half screen, Birdie can bullhorn to punish a fireball. You can't react from much closer, and it's insanely risky against fireballs you can follow in, and it requires Birdie to already be holding a button, so it's not always available. Birdie can also use a predictive chain to punish a fireball when afar. I'll talk about punishing chain more in a little bit, but it's important to note this is pretty risky except from really far away since reactive chain is too slow, especially when close. And chain on block can be punished when moderately close. You can also use his jumping throw to go through fireballs, but the force speed makes it predictive and it's very unsafe. Finally, he can slide under fireballs with down towards fierce, but the timing is unbelievably strict, it requires prediction, and it's unsafe on block. Overall, Birdie's answers to fireballs are all very predictive, so if you throw a lot of fireballs you force him to guess. Let's talk briefly about Birdie's reversal options. Birdie generally has no true strike invincibility, he only has armored EX Bullhorn. And armor on all versions of B-Trigger Bullhead. You can throw him out of these quite easily, none of them are that fast. And you can break through the armor with any two hit attack. Right now, they both only get armor on the third frame, so true meaty attacks will counter hit them. But, in the balance patch coming soon, he's supposed to get frame 1 armor on EX Bullhorn. Birdie's only other reversal option is EX Command Grab. This only has grab invincibility, but since all his other reversals are throwable, he can use this as a mix up for people attempting to throw him. It's worth noting that you can neutral jump Bullhead, EX Bullhorn, and EX Command Grab. It's rewarding, but if Birdie does nothing, he might react and hit you with low strong. All of these options require resources. If Birdie's outside trigger and has no bar, he's a sitting duck. Finally, Birdie Super isn't fast, but it does have true strike, grab, and fireball invincibility, so it will beat almost any media you go for. Of course, the price is high and it's insanely risky, so most Birdie players won't use it if they can help it. I don't have much to say for most of Birdie's normals. But it is worth noting that Birdie's fastest normal is 4 frames, and overall his normals are pretty slow. Birdie's towards roundhouse is 2 hits. The first fully whiffs on crouchers, but the second is an overhead. It's quite slow, so Birdie will often try and use it meaty or at a range where it's hard to interrupt. It's minus 6 on block, so if you have a quick, long range attack, you can punish it. 
Ward Spears has a hit of armor, so it can counter many pokes. It must be used predictably, and it's minus 8 on block and very hard to space, so please punish this. Brady's V-Skill can be punished in neutral quite easily if your character has good full screen presence. This is even easier if you can armor through the can or banana. If you're within jumping range, you can jump in on a can or banana and punish it. Note if Birdie gets food out in time and you land on it, even if you hit him, he wins the trade. You can always empty jump and block the food if you land into it. Birdie still gets a mix up, but this is preferred to just getting hit. Birdie can cancel his chain, and the cancel has very little recovery, so I don't generally recommend trying to punish Birdie players who like to hold chain. However, if you block chain, or see him whiff the upward one, you can situationally punish him. He's up to minus 23 on the straight one. Even if you have no punish, you can use the opportunity to advance, retreat, or even throw a fireball. I don't have much advice on punishing his jump grab. Obviously if you react in time, you can do a full neutral jump punish. And it is reactable, even hidden in cancels. Just keep in mind the ranges he'd like to do it. The medium and hard ones are quite easy to react to, so focus on being aware for the light and DX ones. Now, what we're really here for, punishing Bullhead. First, Birdie's Bullhead and Bullhorn are two separate moves. This is Bullhead. And this is Bullhorn. There are a lot of players who don't know the difference, but the punishes are really different. Bullhead is straight, Bullhorn goes upward. Light and medium Bullhead are extremely punishable. They're both minus 10 and very hard to space. Hard Bullhead is only minus 5, but again, it's extremely hard to space. Note that Birdie says Bullhead when he uses lighter medium Bullhead, but not heavy. Reacting to different versions of Bullhead can be hard, so you might just always want to use a 5 frame punish for all 3 versions. Consistency is good, but just remember this can be unoptimal. Birdie can cancel Bullhead into V-Trigger. Don't worry about needing to react, he has to do it before you can commit to a punish. Just abandon the idea of punishing if he does this. All versions are plus frames, including EX. If he's in V-Trigger, your punishes change. All Bullheads are now minus 9, but recover much farther away and can even be spaced. You might have to settle on a sweet punish for consistency. Your punish will be radically different depending on your character, so take it to training mode. So remember, you can always use a 5 frame punish outside V-Trigger, and you can use any long range 9 frame punish inside Trigger. Freddy's Bullhead has armor in V-Trigger, so being able to punish it is very important. As of this recording, EX Bullhead is minus 2 in and out of V-Trigger, so it's safe. However, in the upcoming balance patch, it's supposedly going to be minus 5, so you'll be able to punish it, probably in the same way you'd punish Hard Bullhead. Now, non-EX Bullhorn is quite clearly a different move than Bullhead. It's pretty unsafe, so hit it with your max damage punish. It's still really unsafe in V-Trigger, too. EX Bullhorn is one of Brady's common armored reversals. Whether in or out of V-Trigger, it's extremely unsafe too, so again, punish it as hard as you can. Brady can cancel EX Bullhorn into V-Trigger, but only the second hit. This is minus 5, and to be honest I see people let this one go all the time. Please react to this and punish it with a light combo, or a 5 frame medium combo if you can.
Incidentally, regular Bullhorn can also cancel into Trigger, which makes it minus two on block. This is less useful for Birdie, but it helps to know it's generally safe if you ever see someone do it.